prints, Al. Uh, Henderson says it looks like it's been wiped. Uh, most probably. You find anything else? Uh, only this. What is it? Strand of hair, human hair, on the front seat beside Hogan. Uh, let me see. Yeah. You see, it's red. Yeah. Better get it into the lab. Check. Hi, Lieutenant. Hello, Al. What's the news? The lab boys put that strand of hair through all the tests. It was dyed. Original color blonde? Yeah. Good. Sure, but that's all we've got so far. Not a very good case. We've got more. Huh? I went up to Hogan's apartment this morning. Found this. Uh Uh-huh. Huh. Envelope. Addressed to you. Well, what was in it? That's the point. Nothing. Prints on it? All smears. Well, what's your theory? This. Hogan became conscience-stricken. Wrote me a letter explaining the whole thing. (laughs) But Fasano found the letter before Hogan mailed it. Yeah? That's why he killed Hogan. Took the letter with him, but forgot the envelope. Sounds reasonable, but it'll be hard to prove. We can work the letter angle. Oh. Fasano and the girl have never met you. They don't know you're on the case. Oh, got a job for me? Yes, Al. A tough job. Sit down, Mr. Bowen. Thanks. Fix your drink? <laughs> I'd rather not. You uh, said on the phone you had a business deal. Uh, I have. What is it? What is the deal? Uh, anybody around? Anybody? In the next room. Oh, it's empty. Nick's not here, huh? Nick? <laughs> Don't stall me around, sweetheart. I know about you and Fasano. You do? Well, I'm not a P.I. for nothing. P.I.? What's that? Private investigator. A cop? Hmm, kind of a cop. I was also a personal friend of Art Hogan's. Who's he? A corpse, as if you didn't know. Listen, what's this all about? You still got the letter? What letter? Hogan came to me for advice after you and Nick put the squeeze on him. I told him he'd have to make up his own mind, and he finally did. Then he told me about the letter he wrote to Britt. But uh, Britt never got that letter because you and Nick got it first. That's why you killed Hogan. (laughs) You're crazy. (laughs) Maybe. You still got the letter? What letter? It must be worth a lot of dough. Uh, Suppose I did have it. How much is it worth? Nothing to me, but a lot to you. If you take my advice and let me help you. Go on. The two of us together. You and me, baby. Could milk Nick for plenty. Ten, maybe twenty grand. and huh, That's not feed for poultry. You mean blackmail Nick? Why not? I <laughs> like living too much. You've got to gamble once in a while, baby. Twenty grand on one side of the coin. Your life on the other. But uh, I have an idea the coin would turn up in our favor. That is, if you let me handle it. I've done these things before. Well, what do you say, sweetheart? I'll have to think it over. Think fast. Uh, Then I'd have to get the letter from Nick. He's got it. Well, uh, you can handle that, can't you? Uh, Come on up here tonight about ten. You'll have the letter? Sure, I'll have it. (laughs) You and I are going to get along fine, sweetheart. Just fine. I'll see you later. Lieutenant Britt. Bowen. How'd it go? Smooth, very smooth. Good. How'd you leave it? Uh, I'm going back to her place tonight at 10. What's the address? 1257 Gedney. Okay, Al, good luck. Thanks. (laughs) 
coming. Come in. You got the letter? Sure. <laughs> it was like taking candy from a baby. Good. Let me have it. What's your hurry? Have a drink. No, thanks. Uh, where's the letter? I've got it right here. Hmm. Uh-huh. Will it suit you? Yeah. Suits me fine. It's all here. Well, now let's have a drink. Uh, uh-uh, sweetheart. Uh, not now. I've got other things to do. Like what? Fasano! Reach, Bowen, reach. That's the boy. Now, let me have that letter. Sure. Thanks. Well, what's the angle? No angle. I just don't like guys who try to blackmail me. That's all. What are you going to do? <laughs> what do you think? Think twice, Fasano. About what? About all the cops outside. Don't tell me you brought all the private eyes of the city with you. I work for the city. And the boys with me work for the city, too. Take a look out the window, Delmer. Sure. He's not kidding. There's a patrol car downstairs and a couple of guys standing around. Rick! Oh. <laughs> Same to you, Fasano. Shut up. You can't win, punk. You're trapped. Nuts. Not as long as I got you. Turn around. <laughs> Don't try to use me as a shield, Fasano. That won't stop the boys. Shut up. Now start walking to that door. Okay, okay. But it won't get you any place. You with me, Delmer? Right with you, Nick. Yeah. Good girl, open the door. Okay, Bowen, march. <laughs> All right there, Fasano. I'm warning you, Britt. One move out of you and your stooge here gets shut up. And you too. I'll take my chances. Any time, Lieutenant. Hell. Drop. <laughs> Get that girl, Adams. Let go, let go of the car. I didn't have anything to do with it. You all right, Al? Oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just fine. What about Nick? Wait a second. <laughs> uh, letters in his He's pocket. Uh -huh. Here's a pincher for the girl. Uh, you got a match? Huh? Give me a match, will you? I... I need a butt to steady my nerves. <laughs> sure, Al. Anything to oblige. Uh. Hey, Ben, toss a match over here, pronto. <laughs> You've just heard Official Detective, tense dramatic stories of criminal investigation starring Craig McDonald as Detective Lieutenant Dan Britt. <music> Official Detective is presented by the Mutual Broadcasting System in cooperation with Official Detective Stories magazine. If you've enjoyed this story, you'll find many more stories of equal appeal in our June issue, now on sale at your newsstand. Also in the book, Official Detective Omnibus, published by Jewel Sloan and Pierce. Connie Evans was heard as Sergeant Al Bowen, Delma was Eileen Palmer, Nick was played by Joe DeSantis, and Hogan was Louis Van Rooten. <laughs> Official Detective is produced and directed by Wynn Wright and written by William K. Wells, Jr. with special music by Chet Kingsbury. Jack O'Reilly speaking. All names of persons and places used in this program are fictitious. Any resemblance to names of actual persons living or dead is coincidental. This program came from New York. Next, there's five minutes of news reported by Bill Henry over most of these stations, and then your top mysteries for Tuesday continue with a dashing John Steele adventurer the spine-tingling, mysterious traveler. Be sure to stay tuned over most of these stations, and then you'll agree, Mutual is tops for mystery on Tuesday. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.